Now you can see with the network card installed, we're showing 2.5 gigabits per second. Hey everyone, Digital David here today. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the TrendNet 2.5G Base T network adapter. They did send me this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. So please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. You can see how it comes packaged too in a really nice retail box with all the product specs and technical details right on the packaging. So this has a 2.5G port, so it supports up to three speeds, 2.5 gigabits per second, one gigabit per second, and 100 megabits per second. Jumbo frames as well, so you can send larger packets up to nine KB. And it works with Windows, Windows Server, and Linux. This is a PCIe 2.0 X1 interface as well. You can see the picture of the product right here on the box. So it's gonna be very easy to install and plug in to your computer. In regards to cabling or other infrastructure, this actually works with Cat5e cables as well. So hopefully you won't have to upgrade or swap out any cables. Just make sure you have another 10 gig or 2.5 gig device to support this to make sure you can get those speeds. So in this video, we're gonna be installing it with this other network adapter that they sent us in two desktop computers and transferring some files to see if we can get those speeds. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have our safety note and our installation disc. Next, we have our quick installation guide for multiple SKUs on the front. We can open it up to reveal the installation instructions right there. So there's four easy steps. Install the card, power on your computer, insert the disc, and connect the computer to the proper device. We can view our LED indicator light status down here at the bottom. So we have multiple lights. We have green and amber. If it's green and it's off, there's no link. If it's green and it's on, you're either getting your 100 megabits or your one gigabit link. If it's blinking green, it's showing that data is transmitting at those speeds. If it's showing amber and it's off, you have no link. If it's showing amber and it's on, you have your 2.5 gigabits per second link. If it's showing amber and blinking, then data is transmitting at that speed. Now we can look at the rest of the package contents. We have the network adapter and we have a small form factor card right here that you can see with TrendNet's logo and branding, 2.5G and 100M and 1000M in the other corner. Looks nice, simple enough. And then we can look at the network adapter as well. So you can see the card from this side. We can look at it from that angle and from the back side. Now we can look at it from this side as well. Same thing, it says TrendNet, 2.5G in this corner with your amber light, and then in the other corner, 100M, 1000M with your green light right there. And then we can see it from the back side again, maybe a little bit closer, you can see they have more product information and your serial number and other important information right there stuck on the back with nice stickers. Now let's go ahead and let's get this installed. So you can see we have our computer opened up right now and we have one open slot to use and install this card. So go ahead, take the card, gently line everything up and just push it down and tight in place. So there we go, we just installed the card. Now let's go ahead, let's look at it from the other angle. Here it is from the backside so you can see how everything looks. Now we can go ahead, we can plug in our ethernet cable and try it out. So we're at my computer right now. We have both of the cards installed. Before we test the 2.5 gig speeds, I wanted to show you guys the exact same files being copied over on my network at one gig speeds. So I have a video file, we're gonna drag and start copying it. So here we go, you can see the speeds right here that we're getting for our one gig network. So we have the two computers connected with a one gig switch. So this is just one video file, roughly around seven gigs or so when we started. You can see it's gonna take around 60 seconds or so for this test to complete. Now let's go ahead, let's drag the whole test folder over so we can see those speeds as well. So here we go, we're copying that over. We're getting around the same transfer speeds for the 14 gigabyte, 15 gigabyte file folder right there. Now let's go ahead, let's test it out at 2.5 gigabits per second using the TrendNet cards. Now you can see with the network card installed, we're showing 2.5 gigabits per second. Let's go ahead, let's take that exact same video file and let's copy it over again so we can check out the speeds that we're getting on our network 
with our file transfer. So there you go, really fast guys, blazing fast compared to what we were getting with gigabit ethernet. So I'm really impressed. Again, this is roughly a seven gigabyte video file. Now let's go ahead, let's copy over the exact same folder that we tested out earlier. So we have the folder, we're dragging it over. Same thing, let's go ahead, let's check out the speeds. There we go, we're getting awesome speeds right here. And I wanna point out, you can see what we're receiving over here in Task Manager as well. So over two gigabits per second on average. So everything's working great, no issues at all. And it's really a nice upgrade if you wanna boost your file transfer speeds on your network. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.